Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you guys are keeping well. Welcome back everyone. For everybody that's new here, I review a lot of audio um, products like headphones. I also look at other uh, devices that take my interest. I'm a photographer. You can catch me on my socials, Twitter and Instagram. Instagram is for my photography exclusively. So these are the Hi-Fi Man HER10P. And the P stands for Planner Magnetic. So what we're going to do, we're going to very, very quickly show you what you get in the box. And then I'm going to talk about how they fit, sound quality, and my verd. You'll also see up tomorrow my review of the HER10Ds for Dynamic Driver. There's quite a big difference in price on these. These are $5,500. These are $1,300. So quite a big difference. Well, so what I'm going to do is do the review tomorrow on these and then on the following day after that I'm going to do a comparison between both of these. Absolutely fascinating uh, comparison. So anyway, let's just go check more about the planners and come back in a second. So let's take a look at the HER10P and the P stands for the Planner Magnetic. So we open the box, inside it's presented. I've taken out some of the other leaflets but these are the headphones themselves. So you take these out of here. We'll do a close up of these in a second. And you get three cables with these. You get a three meter um, XLR balanced, a 6.3 three meter cable as well. And finally, because these are so easy to drive, we are getting a um, 3.5 to 3.5 there we go now let's take a closer look up at these so what we have here is the lovely wood uh, cups and i don't know if you can see but there's because it's the cable only goes up one side that is less hassle to be honest but it has the shape here to fit their blue mini 2 so the idea being is you plug this um sort of Bluetooth connection device on. And it's uh, the same device that's used on the Diva, which has LDAC, Aptex HD, Aptex SBC and AAC, but that goes on. And then you just have, you can power these like Bluetooth because these are fairly easy to drive. I'll talk more about the drive and everything else. Um, you've got the screws here, you've got the cups. These come off quite easily. Um, they use aircraft, um, aluminium on these there's a lot of detail you can see here and it does have the left and the right the only thing I wish that they could have um, changed is this piece here it's a bit plasticky does take away from the overall build slightly very slightly um, and I'll talk more about comfort and fit and sound quality now so as you can see they came with quite a few cables which is good and I like the fact they've allowed for some Bluetooth option with their Blue Mini module. In terms of comfort, if I put them on, these are 460 grams. So on paper, these should be really heavy, but they are so comfortable. They are really comfortable. They're not a tight clamping fit. These are closed back, which is why you have this sort of um, look that Sony had with their original large cut headphones. But the quality, of these is really high. So as I mentioned, when I was going through the what's in the box, you've got wood, you've got um, aircraft, aluminium. Frequency response on these are from 10 Hertz to 60 kilohertz. They're only 30 ohms and their sensitivity is 100 dB. So these can be driven off a portable type that they can be driven off a portable device no problem at all but in my testing using different amps these scale really well so if you put a five thousand dollar pound amp they scale up beautifully if you put a 200 pound amp DAC they sound fantastic still if you just drive them straight off your laptop or MacBook they sound great they are easy to drive which is quite surprising and they're comfortable to wear. So in terms of sound quality, I'm gonna grab my notes. 
because I wrote quite a lot down. These are the, um, the main tracks that I use to talk about the sound quality. So, so I have these large wooden um, ear cups and that's on both of the dynamic driver and the plan of magnetic, which has been designed to allow for as much air space, breathing space and volume for the music to, to shine. The planners have a true nano thickness diaphragm with a sub micro thickness coating. In other words, state the Hyperman state of the art planner magnetic tech sits inside of these. Um, so just going through some of my notes, and it's important to, so I, I wrote these down as I was testing, so I didn't want to miss anything. Um, when I was listening to some of the more poppy dancey type uh, music, um, these are the tracks that I used as standard. I did do some extra ones on top of those, but these are the core ones that I use for every review. So in terms of the fact that these are a closed back headphone, you'd expect them to sound like a closed back headphone. And on the whole, they don't. They sound more like an open back type headphone. Pretty amazing. They've got a lot of, but being that because they are closed, they do have slightly more um, punch in the bass, um, but they're very, very refined fairly neutral, non-forceful, but very fast, very articulate, uh, very, a lot of detail across, um, across the sound stage. There is a good sound stage on here. It's not the widest I've heard, um, but it's still pretty wide. With listening to jazz, male or female vocals, these headphones are really natural, um, but you really can pick up the vocals the clarity is fantastic. I listened to these, what well, I did, for hours and hours and didn't want to take them off, to be honest. Um, and such an openness for these closed back headphones. It's pretty wild. Absolutely love these. Um, when it comes to some sort of the rock tracks, great definition, fast, speed, layering, it's all there. It's really quite spectacular. Um, and then you put more expensive amplification and everything I've just told you from the level of articulation, level of detail, level of separation just gets better. These are a fantastic headphone. I'm so grateful that Hi-Fi Man sent them for me to evaluate. I could never have afforded these otherwise and it's great to support the channel. And I just so want to be able to keep these. They are so nice. Everything I've put through them music-wise has been sublime. Anyway, I'm sure you might have some questions. Don't forget tomorrow there'll be my separate review for the dynamic driver version of these. And then the day after that, probably the one that you've all been waiting for is the comparison between the two. Because whilst they might look similar, boy, do they not sound similar. Anyway, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Catch you guys soon. Bye for now.